Josh here with the opening episode of Season 5 of Random Destinations. We'll be taking you places you never wanted to go to see things you could care less about seeing. On Season 5, I am with my lovely wife, Edith May. Say hey, Edith. Hey! She's back. I finally convinced the judge to take the ankle monitor off her and let her go with me this, this trip. The only condition is she must keep her hands in her clothes when she's in the store. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. You, Edith? Well, well, we'll see. we got a long ways to go. Uh, right now, we are driving through the very scenic part of Missouri, which I call Farmville. Uh, and most of the first few episodes are going to be for different variations of Farmville. Uh, Farmville. Right now, we're on our way for lunch in Hannibal, Missouri, uh, hometown of Samuel Clements, better known as American author Mark Twain. We're going to have some lunch, do a little walking around and film some stuff. Oh, this year, big announcement. I have two cameras now. One that I'm using here to show the beautiful scenery we're passing. The other one so that I can turn around and show you me and Edith May while driving. It's in the trunk. So we're going to have to do a little massaging of the tech, technical part of making these videos in season five. Either way, it's off and running. We should be in uh, Hannibal in about an hour. Uh, I've never been there. We'll take a look around, have some lunch, and then from there we're heading off to Springfield, Illinois for our first overnight stop. Well, we made it to Hannibal, and it's about 11.30 in the morning. And considering that we left early and didn't have any breakfast, we're both pretty hungry. So our first stop is going to be Palermo Pizza on Broadway Avenue in Hannibal. So let's go find it. Well, we found it. It's a rather nondescript looking place from the outside, uh, and on the inside, it's equally nondescript. However, I hear the food is excellent. Now, just looking at the menu, I'd say they have a rather extensive choice of things to choose from. And if you can't find something on this menu, then you're not hungry for Italian food. We're having the special five-topping thin crust pizza, a 12-inch for $13.50, plus Edith Mays also having a small toss salad. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Hello. While it doesn't look like it's particularly busy for a uh, weekday lunch rush in downtown Hannibal, I will say this, in the 15 minutes or so we've sat waiting for our pizza to be made, we've watched at least a half dozen to a dozen people come in and pick up their to-go orders. So they do have a healthy business. Take a look at the pizza. This is their five topping special. 12 inch. Let's see you eat it like a lady. <laughs> poser, poser. <laughs> All right, regular crust, five topping special, 12 inch. Well, let me say this about our lunch pizza. I'm not a big fan of leftover cold pizza, but that pizza was absolutely outstanding. It was so good that there was no way in hell I was going to leave it there or throw it away. So we've loaded it up, put it on the cooler, and we'll probably have that for lunch uh, tomorrow while we're driving. So now that I'm full, let's go ahead and take a trip down the historic district of downtown Hannibal.
This is the historic downtown section of Hannibal. It runs about, I don't know, six, eight blocks or so along Main Street. It is very pretty, lots of free parking, shops, and places to eat. I'm going to concentrate my time on the Mark Twain Boyhood Home section, which runs roughly three or four blocks from Center Street down to, I think, one block or so past Hill Street. So let's get started. The first stop on my tour of the Mark Twain Museums and uh, Historical Homes is going to be a stop at the Museum Gallery, located at the corner of Main Street and Center Street. There you can purchase a ticket for a very reasonable six dollars, considering inflation today, uh, that will get you into a total of nine different exhibit homes and locations as part of the Mark Twain uh, tour. So we're going to start first here with the Gallery Museum and then after we're done here we'll go down and walk down to the cluster of other uh, museums that are included. You, they give you a little card with a map on it and uh, I think even Carter Cash can do this without getting lost. Now as you might expect a museum like this is geared towards a lot of field trips from schools and uh, I believe uh, a couple cruise ships stop here and spend some time in Hannibal. So it's geared for large volumes of people uh, and is very heavy into the details of history, which is great. It makes it a fun place to go visit. We're going to go on down and look at the boyhood home of Mark Twain. And I'll take them at the word. This is the entrance to the museum. So let's go in and check it out. Oh, Becky Thatcher House, Grant's Drug Store, which we just passed. And it was the Justice of Peace's office in Becky Thatcher's house. And we're over here at his boyhood home. I guess we're going to the Interpretative Center. Oh, and there's Huck, Huck Finn home, too. All right. So this portion is a timeline of Mark Twain's life. Well, Samuel Clemens' life. Okay, we'll go we'll go look at Huckleberry Finn House. Simply because it says please visit first. So that's where we're going. Alright, very pretty gardens. Uh, I didn't film anything in the uh, Huck Finn house because basically it's looked like it was about 12 by 15. The only thing I found interesting about it was it had two fireplaces in it, one for the kitchen and one for the other half. And normally you didn't see a kitchen in those homes because the kitchens had a tendency to catch fire and burn to the ground, taking the house with it. So I was a little surprised. I may ask about that. obvious the Mark Twain house is significantly more affluent than the Huck Finn house. Although I doubt it came with a sprinkler system. bedroom with his own wood stove and the marbles and his bedpan. It takes back three be three bedrooms up here. And 
And this, I'm guessing, is the master bedroom. My last stop for today is the Becky Thatcher home, which sits just across the street from the Mark Twain house. I'm still a little bit confused as to what exactly this house was. I've heard that it was a single family home, I've heard it was a boarding house, and I also heard that it even was a small hotel for some time. From the way it's displayed today, it's even possible that for a short time it was used as a small schoolhouse. Now to me, based on its layout and its looks today, I would guess that it was probably a boarding house. Well, that's about going to wrap up our afternoon in Hannibal. have to say I really liked it. Uh, we could have spent a full day, if not more, just wandering around downtown. It's very clean, very nice, and it was a lot of fun. So if you're looking for a quick day trip or a quiet place to uh, spend a day strolling around the river and looking at the museums, you can't go wrong with Hannibal. I was very impressed with it. Now next week you'll see us eating cold pizza from Palermo in uh, Hannibal and staying at a small boutique hotel, Hotel 835 in Springfield, Illinois.